So I guess we can end over here. Oh, actually, no, we're not over. Yes, no, we're not. We have still have 10 minutes. Nice. We have 10 minutes together. Okay, so we can move to our next problem, our problem 18. Our problem 18. And our problem 18 asks us to find the exact value of the cosine r of the cosine of 570. 5 oopsie 5 7 0. Okay, this is a trick problem. So how do we find the cosine of 570? To find the cosine of 570, we need to find the reference angle or the coterminal angle. So first, let's draw a unit circle. Unit circle is a little slow. Ah, okay, let's draw a unit circle. Or I guess I'm not actually going to draw the actual circle, but just the reference frame. So we know we start the count from this um, axis over here. And we also know that if we go around a circle, or the angle of going around a circle is 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. So this is 360 degrees. So we know we went through the circle once. And 570 minus 360 degrees. Let's do 570 degrees minus 570 degrees minus 360 degrees equals to 210 degrees. So we know after that we went through a circle, which is 360 degrees, we still need to keep going. And we just need to keep going for 210 degrees. We also know half a circle, or half of 360 degrees is 180 degrees. So we went, let's, let's redraw the circle. So we went through the circle once, so we went through the circle once, and we need to go through another half of the circle, like so, and then, so we need to go to another half circle. So let's do 210 minus 1 as 180, because 180 is half of circle, half of 360 degrees. And that would equal to 30 degrees. Cool, so we went through half a circle. And then we went for another 30 degrees. Let's just change our color to blue so that we can go for another 30 degrees. Okay, so we want another 30 degrees over here. And let's just draw the angle. Okay, so our actual angle actually went through the circle, went through the circle, went through one and a half of the circle, and then stopped a little over here. This part is 30 degrees. Or I guess I should use another color for the 30 degrees. Um, let's use blue for the for the 570 degrees, because we already went, because we just went 570 degrees all the way um, across, uh, like, the area. So this is 470 degrees, or the angle. Uh, this is 470 degrees, and this small part is 30 degrees. All right, so our reference angle is actually just um, 30 degrees. So ref angle, let's use green. Oopsie. Our reference. Cool. Our reference. Our reference. Angle. It's 30 degrees. All right, and now we just need to find the actual value of cosine of 30 degrees. So let's see what's the value of cosine of 30 degrees. You know what, let's just redo it. Cosine of 30 degrees. Equals to Question mark? Question mark. Okay, you have to find the cosine of 30 degrees. Again, we need our special triangle over here. This is our special triangle. We have two of them. 
this is one of them. They are the they're very commonly used for trick problems. And the angle over here is 60 degrees, but it's irrelevant for this question because we're looking at the reference angle of 30 degrees, which is this angle over here. So now we know that cosine of an angle is adjacent over pi hypotenuse. And the adjacent side of this angle is the root 3 angle. This is the adjacent side. And the hypotenuse of this angle of, of this triangle is 2, which is the hypotenuse. So we know that the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. However, what we really wanted to know is the cosine of 570 degrees instead of 30 degrees. So in order to find the cosine of 570 degrees, again, we are in this quadrant. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. And we are at the third quadrant over here. In the third quadrant, the x values are negative on the unit circle. And again, on the unit circle, the x values are the same as the cosine values. So since the x values on the unit circle on the third quadrant is negative, the cosine values on the third quadrant is also negative. So the cosine of 570 is actually negative. So the cosine of 70 is negative root 3 over 2. And that's our answer right here. All right, now let's look at the sample solution that was given. And let's just briefly check through it. Yep, they also get their reference angle correctly. And they got the angle of cosine of 30 degrees. And yes, it's in the third quadrant. And yes, the cosine of 570 is negative root 3 over 2. Their solution is correct. So let's just say, great job. The solution is correct. Cool. Let's see what's our next problem. Thank you.